Hi, Hiram here. I want to do a boil test with this Sterno Inferno kit. This is the way it looks when it's packed. Once you figure out how to do it, it's not too hard. You got your pot, you got the stove part with the lid. Inside the lid is the base, which is a little hard to get out at times, but the base just folds open like this stove would go on it like this. Now the one thing that I found with this it has here lock and unlock and I couldn't quite figure out you know I thought maybe the little dimple fit down and into a bayonet type. I don't know if you'd be able to see it on this but you just see two depressions here a big one and a little one and what you end up having to do is put the dimple on the big one and then just turn it until it clicks in place. Now the stove is all there. Inside this you're able to store two seven ounce cans of Sterno just like so. Along with this is the snuffer that you use for putting it out. You shouldn't blow out Sterno so the snuffer is made to just fit on top like that through a slit here on the side of the stove. Now I weighed all this stuff, just the kit, like this, empty without the sterno. This weighs uh, 293.6 grams or 10.36 ounces. When I added the two cans of sterno, it came to 770.9 grams or 27.19 ounces. Not bad if you like using sterno. One thing I think they should add to this maybe would be some sort of a knit bag to hold this all together. Now I can see this is a looks like a nice little thing. The lid's plastic. Now to compare this to let's say the Ollie Camp version. It's a little bit smaller than the Ollie Camp, you know, by a long shot there. But the Olive Camp has a silicone lid on it, which you don't really have to worry about with heat. But this kit comes with some sort of a plastic lid, and from the instructions and stuff, it doesn't specifically say that it's alright for the heat, but it just says that it can swell up and get tight on the pot after it's been heated up. And it also says remove the lid before pouring. So I'm going to try it with this lid on. Let me go get some water prepped. I'll get two cups of water prepped for this. Oh, this is also marked. I hope you'll be able to see that. On the inside here, ounces from 8, 12, 16, and milliliters from 100 to 300 milliliters. Pretty light little pot. So let me go get some water prepped and I'll be back for a test. Okay, the water temperature is at about 59 degrees. I think that's about as close as I'm going to get without it going over. I've got one new can of Sterno in here. Oops, there goes 60 degrees. Let's light this. Okay, that's lit. Let me put this on right away and start the timer. Now, the add for this setup said that it gets eight fluid ounces of water to a boil in six minutes so does that mean 16 fluid ounces or two cups to a boil in 12 I'm not sure the thing is they never tell you what the starting temperature of the water was so we'll find out here now the lid that comes with this kit the holes aren't big enough for the thermometer so I just used a piece of aluminum foil across the top but so that was 59 60 degrees at start room temperature is 87.4 humidity 48 percent partly cloudy out no wind and let's see how long it takes us to get two cups of water to a boil okay there we have 210 to 11 come on 
212 and 1231. 12 minutes 31 seconds. Not too bad. Okay, let me take this off. The handle's a little warm, but it's not hot. It does lift up out of the stove. Now I'm going to take the snuffer and snuff out the flame. Okay, that worked. What I want to do here now is I'll let this cool. I want to. I had measured the can before I used it, how many grams there were in it, and I want to measure, see how many were used on this. I'll put the amount down here on the bottom and down in the text area. So that was two cups of water. Oops. Two cups of water starting at. Oh, oh, come on. Two cups of water starting at. I think it was 59, 60 degrees, kind of bounced back and forth. I'll look on the screen again. And it came to a boil in 12 minutes, 31 seconds. Not too bad for sterno. Now, if anybody has an interest, even though it's against the instructions that came with this, they said only use the sterno, period. <clears throat> Everything else, I guess, is dangerous. But if there's an interest, I'll try using a Trangia burner. It looks like it should fit in there with no problems. Now whether or not I'll get enough ventilation through here, that's what we'd have to see, but if, like I said again, if there's an interest, I'll try another test with this. <coughs> Excuse me. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.